Hello everyone, today I will be reviewing the searches. So the searches is directed by John Ford and stars John Wayne and it's a western and it's set in Texas in 1868 which is a few years after the end of the Civil War and John Wayne plays Ethan who's a Civil War veteran. And at the start of the film we see him come home to see his brother's family which includes his two nieces and his nephew and what ends up happening is that an Indian tribe, the Comanches, come and burn down the house, kill some of the family and kidnap to um, kidnap the two nieces including Debbie and really the main focus of the film is on John Wayne's character Ethan who sets out to try and bring back Debbie. Now what is interesting about this film is that it's a western and it's regarded as one of the best westerns of all time, definitely one of the best American westerns of all time and I would agree with that definitely I think it's a fantastic film and John Ford and John Wayne, they teamed up to do a lot of films together, most of them westerns, and this is often regarded to be their best pairing. So, straight into the story then, so we see John Wayne's character Ethan, he teams up with Jeffrey Hunter's character Martin, and they set out to rescue Debbie back. Now, John Wayne's character Ethan is a very interesting character, because he's not just a one-dimensional character in this film, he has lots of different signs to him, and although he's a hero, we really get the impression that he's a very angry, impulsive and reckless man who, in a few scenes, we see him get a little bit out of control. And you can tell he really hates the Indians, but he doesn't just hate them because they kidnapped his niece, but he hates them because of who they are, because they're Indian. And we see in one scene that this is really demonstrated when they come across a dead Indian laying in the, laying in the ground, and when they find him... Ethan shoots his eyes out and the reason he does that is because the Indians believe that if their eyes are shot out they won't go to the happy hunting ground when they die and they'll be left to drift in the wilderness. So Ethan actually really hates the Indians even when they're dead, he doesn't even want to give them that. So the story actually takes place over a period of about five years and we see the older version of Debbie and the younger version of Debbie, so the older version of Debbie is played by Natalie Wood, the younger version is played by Lana Wood, who is Natalie Wood's younger sister. And most of the film really focuses on Jeffrey Hunter's character, Martin, and John Wayne's character, Ethan, going out to try and find Debbie. There is also a bit of a subplot in this film, which is quite interesting. So Jeffrey Hunter's character, Martin, has a bit of an on-and-off relationship with Vera Miles' character, Laurie. And... When we see them meet each other for the first time in the movie, you can tell that they've got history between them. And there's a few comedic scenes where Laurie throws some water over Martin, and it's all very funny and well done. But the whole that whole story is a little bit of a distraction from the main storyline of Go Out to Rescue Debbie. And I do like it. There are lots of funny bits in between, but it sometimes is a bit of a distraction. The story sometimes veers off to go back to Laurie, but... But it's all well and good. It all does does actually fit in with the story quite well, but it's just a distraction from the main aim of trying to rescue Debbie. And the scenes with Laurie and Martin, they, they're often quite funny. And really, most of the film, it's a Western. It's, it's not a particularly funny film, but there are a few scenes splashed in which, you know, might get a few laughs, which I quite like, to be honest, because it's sort of, it keeps the story going. And this is one of those films, actually, where... I never got bored. I did not feel like there were any scenes which dragged on in particular or I, um, I was never checking my watch or looking at the time. It all moves very smoothly and it's constantly keeping me engaged and makes me want to know what happens next and keeps me watching. And that is a very good thing because you'd be surprised the number of films I've seen where although they're very good, there are sometimes scenes which go on a bit too long or, or which could have been cut out. Now, when I think of my favourite Western of all time, this isn't actually one that really springs to mind. My favourite Westerns are probably Shane and Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, but this is also very good. And what this film is best at is delivering what you want from a Western, or what most people want from a Western anyway. Uh, so with the setting, it's absolutely fantastic. With the whole Cowboys and Indians theme, it really 
delivers on that. But the setting actually is what is one of the best things about this film. The cinematography is absolutely stunning. Just that first shot of when you see Martha opening the door and going out onto the frontier and you see Monument Valley, I was immediately thinking, wow, this film looks amazing. And the film had barely even started. And yeah, Monument Valley, it really looks absolutely beautiful in this film. We get to see it throughout most of the film because the whole film is set during there. And all, all the shots of them riding through the desert, it just really looks amazing and just really brings the whole film alive. And also, I've got to talk about the music in this film. I really like the music. Max Steiner did the soundtrack for it. And he's done the score for lots of different films, including Gone with the Wind, which I think was his best film, his best film score. And this is absolutely stunning. And there's a few different themes in this film. So there's there's happier themes and there's sadder themes, there's fast, there's slow. It's all a bit of a mixture. It's not just one mix of constant noise. It really brings the whole film together and makes it an excellent watch altogether. The relationship between Ethan and Martin in this film is really interesting because they spend most of the film together, but Ethan doesn't really like Martin. Now, Martin is an eighth Cherokee, and you can tell that Ethan doesn't like that because he even points it out in the first scene when they meet. And they find themselves having to get along throughout the film, but they're constantly disagreeing on everything. And, yeah, there's a few scenes where Martin's even thinking of leaving and Ethan's thinking of leaving and... and they constantly fall out, but they manage to um, team up together in the end. And it just really makes an interesting watch. It really makes the whole story interesting because they're two very different characters. But ultimately, they have to get along in Rescuing Debbie, which is the, the film's main goal. So I have to say, altogether, overall, The Searchers is a fantastic Western. I really do think it is one of the best Westerns of all times. It's gone down as a classic, has an excellent reputation. Some of the scenes, as I mentioned earlier, might distract from the main story a little bit with the Laurie and Martin storyline, but really that's, that's no big issue. Really, it works all together when it comes down to it in the end. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a rating of a 9 out of 10. So, the searchers. So, there we go, guys. So, what do you guys think? Have you seen it? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Please let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.